Hey everyone, welcome to my virtual open house for 456 Potomac Way here in Claremont, California. Uh, another beautiful day, um, wonderful temperature, probably only about 80 degrees today, plenty of sun. Um, I'm going to start the tour in about five minutes. I uh, just wanted to get the video going a little bit early, um, give some time people, give people some time to grab a refreshment, get ready, settle in and uh, we will start the live open house in just a moment. Um, in the meantime, I'm just gonna flip you guys around and you guys can take a look at areas, some of the communal area of the Griswolds complex. And we'll be getting away with uh, the virtual tour and open house in just a couple minutes here. In the meantime, while we're waiting, if anybody has any questions regarding real estate, Claremont, or how we're dealing with the COVID pandemic still, I'm sure we're all sick of hearing about COVID-19, but it is a way of life now, and we do need to adapt our business to affect those changes. For the people that are joining um, or have joined already, I am going to be giving away some goodies um, hopefully that excites everyone uh, I'm gonna be giving away a couple of Starbucks cards and in fact um, I'm gonna make the odds really good hey Michelle thanks for joining I'm gonna make the odds really good on the Starbucks cards um, I'm gonna give everyone a one in five shot so if I have five people enter I'll give away one card if I have between five and ten people I'll do two cards between ten and fifteen three cards and so on and so forth and it's really simple to enter the only thing you have to do is just comment just comment something so I know that you were here and you saw the live stream and then I'll look back through the comments and everybody that left a comment even if it's just hi or hello or um, anything at all then I'll have a record that you were here and you at least tuned in and you'll be entered in the drawing and I don't give away five dollar Starbucks cards it will be um, something worthwhile I promise all right about three minutes and then we'll get going with the live open house. Meanwhile, here's some neighborhood shots of the Griswolds community. It's an extremely well taken care of complex if you guys couldn't figure that out just by looking around. All right, thanks Eugene, thanks for uh, popping in. Thanks for leaving a comment. I'll be sure to get you entered into the Starbucks giveaway. If you have any other questions about the property, let me know. All right, just another couple minutes here, folks, and we'll get it going. I'll take you down this way. So this is actually one of the um, community areas. Let's see if we can get you guys a view down there. Hi Margie, thanks for joining us. And you are more than welcome for me providing the open house. I actually really, really like doing these. Um, it's kind of brand new. Obviously with the things that we're dealt with, we have to adapt and overcome. And I'm glad that uh, you're able to join us and uh, I have you entered in the Starbucks card. If you have any other questions, feel free to chime in. So you can take a look right there. So this is actually a really cool little spot. This is a community area. This is one of two pool and spa areas. This area is a little grassy area, a lounge area, and there is a spa. I don't know if you can see, I think you guys can see that. Um, and the other area, it has a large pool with an additional spa, more tables and chairs, things like that. All right, it's just about two o'clock, so we're gonna get things going and actually I'm going to use the uh, community area here as a springboard to kind of get going with our first topic so thank you for joining um, we're going to go take a look at 456 Potomac Way here in Claremont California this is in the gated community of Griswolds um, this is one of the most coveted communities in Claremont um, this is a late 70s development with most of the properties being built between 76 and 78 uh, there's four floor plans total and they range from 1500 square feet for the smallest property all the way up to 2,300 square feet for the largest two-story property. There's four different floor plans. 
Um, like I said, there's a couple that are single story and there's a couple that are two story. So they kind of fits all needs of all people. Um, we also have uh, ample guest parking, which is kind of a rarity these days. If anybody lives or works around the village, any honestly anywhere in Southern California, parking is like pull up premium. Um, and this community, when it was built, um, they decided to do at least one guest spot per unit. So um, it doesn't ensure that there's always guest parking, but you can kind of see it's a Saturday afternoon and there's at least three spots open here. And this is in just one spot. Um, plus all, most of the units do have uh, the two, all the units have two car garages and most of them have a driveway that can fit two cars as well. So there's plenty of room um, for parking for guests, which is really, really nice. Another thing I want to touch on before we get inside and take a look at the unit is that these are PUDs. They're not condos and they're not townhomes. Um, and really quick, the difference between those uh, has mostly to do with refinancing and purchasing. Um, so with a condo or townhome, you're not always guaranteed eligibility for FHA loans or VA homes loans. Um, uh, VA loans most notably are for our veterans and FHA is utilized by a lot of first time buyers. Um, and the cool thing with PUDs is that regardless of the community that they're in, you can always finance them with FHA and VA. So it makes for a little bit easier time when you need to resell it and find the right buyer. It also makes it easier for buyers that are looking as well. Whereas with a condo or townhome, it's up to the HOA and the association to maintain that ability for FHA and VA. A lot of the new developments that are going in around Claremont are multi-story, two, three, and four levels. A lot of them do not um, uh, offer FHA and VA financing. A lot of them are condos or townhomes, which make financing a little bit more difficult in some situations, not all the time. But with the PUD, at least you know for sure, you'll always be able to get great financing. All right, we're gonna go on in. Excuse all the literature on the door because of COVID. All right, and here we are. So this unit that we're in is a two-story model. It's three bedrooms, three bathrooms. And it's just over 14, uh, I'm sorry, just over 1,500 square feet. So you walk in and you're greeted with really tall ceilings, vaulted ceilings, and kind of pan up and show you guys that. So nice high ceilings in the living room. And you'll probably notice right away we do have uh, upgraded hardwood flooring. This is not laminate or tile. This is uh, an actual hardwood. High quality, nice big living space. Take you guys over to the corner so you can kind of see everything. So what you're looking at right now would be the living room and dining room. And you'll see the staircase up to the second story. So like I mentioned, this is a three bedroom, three bath unit. All three bathrooms are full bathrooms, which is really nice. They all have a shower and tub, toilet and sink. And one of the great things about this floor plan is that it has a downstairs bedroom and bathroom. So if you have, um, if you have any family or friends that perhaps aren't able to do the stairs or prefer not to do the stairs, there is a bedroom and bathroom, so they have full living accommodations on the first floor, which again is becoming a rarity in some of the newer uh, build residences that we see. A lot of the newer builds that we're, that we're getting here in Claremont are um, limited to either just an entryway on the first floor or um, perhaps the kitchen and living space, but then you have to go upstairs for a bedroom, and that doesn't always work for everyone. Um, it doesn't matter about age. Sometimes it has to do with current physical ailments. I actually had a client um, in the past. Their daughter was extremely active in cheer. I don't know if you guys watched that Netflix documentary called Cheer, but that's crazy stuff that they do. All their tumbling and their stunning and they get injured a lot. And this young lady was only about 14 years old, but she had multiple knee uh, injuries. And there was actually a period of time where she couldn't go up the stairs. Luckily, their house had a downstairs bedroom and full bathroom. So she was able to live downstairs temporarily. And again, this is not an older person. This was a young person that had an injury. And luckily, they had a floor plan that worked for them. 
Okay, so now we're going into the kitchen. The kitchen has seen some updating here. You'll see granite counters. And the wood floor runs throughout in here as well. You'll see there's kind of an open floor plan here, which is nice. So if you're in the kitchen, you have a good eye in the uh, good eye into the family room and kind of into the uh, breakfast nook area here. So you can see a lot of cabinet space, nice big pantry, plenty, plenty of uppers and lowers, a lot of countertop space, and then a built-in little desk area as well. Hey Gloria, thanks for joining. And so here's more of a family room. Got this, the ceiling fan going today, which is perfect. So you, you'll notice I have the screen door open, the ceiling fan on, and it is very comfortable in here. I did not touch the AC. In fact, let's just go see what the temperature is, because I bet you it's very comfortable. Let's go find out. Any guesses? Let's guess the temperature. I'm, gonna, I, 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 I'm not going to say what I think it is, because I'm in it, but it's very comfortable. So we're going to try to find the thermostat and figure out what the temperature is. It's very comfortable in here. Let's see. Here we go, the big reveal. This is just with the windows open and the fan on. 73. So the house stays relatively temperate. I'll go back over where we got sidetracked a little bit there. We do also have a fireplace in here with the uh, tile surround, which is really nice. That's a uh, gas log fireplace. So super easy to start. It's gonna put off a lot of heat and it's gonna actually probably heat this, this portion of the house pretty well. Right, and then we do have a nice courtyard back here. We'll go out there in a second. At the end, we'll take a look at that. I'll take you guys out there. Oh yeah, let's get a closer look at this fireplace tile. It's pretty neat. Look at that. All right, let's go upstairs. So for those of you just joining us, I'll give you a quick rundown of the specs again. Uh, this is uh, 456 Potomac Way here in Claremont. This is in the gated community of Griswolds. It's actually one of three gated communities in all of Claremont. I grew up in Laverne, which is like land of the gated communities. Um, I didn't live in a gated community, but almost all my friends lived in gated communities. Claremont is like the opposite. There's only three gated communities in, uh, in the whole city, and this is one of them. And this is the only gated community north of Foothill, actually. So fun factoid for you in case you're ever on Jeopardy and they ask you about that. Okay, so I mentioned that there was a downstairs bedroom and bathroom, and here's the downstairs bedroom. It does have a double door entry, so it makes it feel nice and big. Plantation shutters, upgraded uh, baseboards. Again, the hardwood floor runs throughout this room as well. Nice big closet over there. And again, another ceiling fan in here as well. And remember, I am giving away Starbucks, and all you have to do is just comment, and I will enter you into the Starbucks drawing, and uh, I'm gonna give away one card for every five people that enter. So make sure you get your comments in, whether it's a question, or you just chime in with something, that's how you get entered. Okay, now we're in the laundry room. Cool thing with here is, is um, I don't know, we're gonna do a little tip of the day here. So I don't know how many people know what this is, you can see that. And we're in the laundry room right now. That's actually an outlet for 220 volt. 220 volt is useful for very, very large, heavy electrical appliances, like a, a clothes dryer. Um, and this one actually, this property has two hookups. You'll see that is for gas. So that's a gas line if you have a gas dryer. And this is the electrical outlet if you have an electric dryer. Um, you'll also see 220 sometimes in your uh, garage or workshop um, for uh, tools and machinery. But it's really nice that you have the uh, option. Hey Maritza, thanks for joining us. I got you entered into that Starbucks drawing. If you have any questions, let me know. Here's the downstairs full bathroom. Very clean. Tile shower. 
tub and shower combo there. Overall, a really clean bathroom. Okay. Let's go upstairs. So again, this is 456 Potomac Way. Three bedrooms, three full bathrooms. Just over 1,500 square feet. $595,000 is the asking price. And here we are on floor two. We're going to start off with another bathroom. So this would serve the one bedroom that's up here that is not the master. Again, simple but very clean. Hey, Brian, thanks for joining. So this bathroom is ready to move right on in, or you could come in, put your own updates and touches on it, personalize it, but it's definitely ready to go right now. Nothing that needs to be done. And that's kind of the theme for this whole unit. Um, it hasn't seen a whole lot of upgrades except for the really nice maple wood floor that's throughout the house. We do have granite countertops in the kitchen, but it's super clean, it's ready to move in, and it is ready for your personal touches if you want to add any. So this is bedroom number two. Again, a nice big bedroom, very bright. Upstairs, plantation shutters. View out the window there. Go to this side so you can see here. Yeah, thanks, Gloria. So in order to schedule an in-person showing or viewing of the property, we can still do those. I know a lot of people think that right now it's a little bit difficult to do that type of thing, but actually it's not. Um, so right now we are able to show properties in person and you are able to, let me flip you around, private um, showings of, of properties. However, there are a couple things that you need to do. Uh, most notably, number one is you're gonna have to sign a form um, uh, that basically says that you aren't sick, you haven't been in contact with anybody that's sick, and you're feeling good up to this point. Um, you also, that form will also state that it, you understand that uh, you know, there is a safer at home order in place, but as long as you take the proper precautions, you'll be okay. Uh, once we have that signed, um, we'll be able to uh, make an appointment, um, even for vacant houses, which in, in the past you didn't need appointments for vacant houses, you could just go direct. Fortunately, you can't really do that anymore because listing agents are requiring the entry form, which is a good thing. We, we should do that. We should make sure that people understand and we should make sure that people know what they need to do to stay safe. Uh, the other thing that, that a lot of listing agents are requiring before viewing properties is a pre-approval letter. So buyers, if you are looking for a house, I know you've probably heard this like 50 million times. If you're looking for a house, you have to get pre-approved first. You have to do it. And that's not because that's not my rule. I'll show you property as much as you want. However, they're not going to grant you appointments if they don't know that you can't financially afford the house. And that's just kind of the climate that we're in. So if you are thinking about purchasing, if you're thinking about starting to look at properties, you need to get pre-approved. Um, it's just part of the process. It's not that hard if you have a good lender. If you need a lender or you need someone to talk to about getting pre-approved or about financials, please let me know. I have a host of people that are extremely well qualified, that have been in the industry a long time, that are uh, able to help any type of buyer that's out there. So thank you for the question, Gloria. I appreciate that. And hopefully that clears up some of the misconceptions about seeing properties in person. I did have a client actually the other day that said, well, I can't wait till I can see more property. And I said, why are you, why are you waiting for? So um, yes, it is possible. It can still happen. We can still do it. We just need to take some precautions. All right, I'm gonna flip you guys back. Look at the master bedroom. All right, here we are. Very nice bedroom, double door entry. Yes, we have so many great properties on Wister.com. All of my information is on there. We have more properties to look at, more properties to view. Uh, there's all sorts of good information. We also have properties not only in Claremont, but from our Big Bear office, our Lake Arrowhead office, for all those people that are over the uh, hustle and bustle of the big city, we can get you set up with a mountain retreat, no problem. It is getting warm, so a day by the lake sounds good as well. So if you're looking for 
uh, mountain property, we also have those. So here in the master, you're going to see another ceiling fan, vaulted ceilings, plantation shutters, uh, nice view. And there's our little courtyard patio there, which we're going to go down there in a second and take a look. All right. And the master. So double sinks in the master. Tile flooring, separate tub and shower, plenty of natural light. And I do like that they put a little spot in the shower where you can sit down. A shower bench is so key. And in a shower that size where you have plenty of room for it, you should definitely have one. Nice big tub there. And as I mentioned, two sinks. And a very big walk-in closet, private commode area here. And actually a really big walk-in closet. It goes around the corner here and get all the way in. Like here we are. It's got some built-in organization as well. Multiple hanging rods as well. Another view of the master. All right, now we'll go outside. We'll go take a look at the private courtyard. Yeah, it's very, very big, and it's actually uh, bigger in person. It looks a little small on camera, but the walk-in is quite large, especially since it goes around that corner. Okay, out we go. So there is a, you'll see a concrete, concrete pad out here. It looks like at some point there was maybe an arbor or some type of trellis or something, because I see some footings. Um, but there's nothing there now. This, to me, like right off the bat, I'm like, this is where the spa goes. Definitely the hot tub, the spa, something like that. This would be a great spot for it. You can see there's plenty of privacy out here. Nice big lantana bush. Lantanas are great bushes for attracting butterflies. They're extremely easy to take care of. And they're very, very colorful. They're native to California. They don't take a lot of water. Um, and there's a nice big mature lantana back here. You might wonder why I know so much about lantana, because I just planted a couple. So I happen to be fresh on my lantana information at the moment. Plenty of roses. Look at all these roses. They're just like waiting to burst. Wow, all those buds. We even have a couple down here that have bloomed already. And so I'll go back into the corner. You can kind of see the unit here. There's a side gate there. Easy access for all your trash cans. A couple of palm trees back here. Two smaller palms. And then again, here's the area where I would be definitely setting up a spa or a hot tub. But you could also put like a little patio set out here, make this little dining area. That would also be a great use of space. So that's the general tour for 456 Potomac Way here in Claremont. Let me flip you guys. If you guys have any questions about the property, go ahead and chime in. Again, if you haven't entered for the Starbucks giveaway, all you have to do is just write a comment. Um, as long as it shows up on the event page uh, that I'm live streaming from, uh, you will be entered. If for some reason you can't leave a comment there, you can message me, you can email me and say, hey, I saw you at your live virtual open house. You're giving away Starbucks and I want a piece of that action and I will enter you into that drawing. Like I said, 
Um, it's gonna, I'm gonna give one in five odds to everyone. So if I have 10 people enter, I'll give away two cards, 15 people will be three cards, so on and so forth. So uh, you're gonna have a good chance to win. It's not gonna be one of these things where 50,000 people enter and one person wins and they win $5. No, it's gonna be way better than that. Um, the other thing that I wanted to touch base on um, was one more thing while I, before I leave you guys, there's obviously a lot of talk about, oh, what's the housing market gonna do? What's gonna happen? What are prices gonna do? Um, long story short, no one ever knows anything for sure, for certain. And actually I love when people ask me, Hey, what, what's, what, what do you think is going to happen? What should I do? Um, I always reply with, if I knew the answer to what the market was going to do, I would be on a beach somewhere with my toes in the sand. Um, and I don't know what the answer is to that, which is why I'm here. But what I can tell you is that there are some extremely stark differences between where we're at now and where we were at in 2008. Obviously, there's still a lot that we don't know uh, about the current situation. Um, but what I can tell you is some of the things that we do know. We do know that homeowner equity is up a lot since the 2008 crash, which signifies that people are a little bit more secure in their homes. Um, Eugene, hey, thanks for the question. The dues uh, here for Griswolds are $315 a month, and that covers all your maintenance for the grounds. Um, so all the community area, the pool, the two spas, the guest parking. It'll also take care of insurance for the exterior of the building, the roof. Um, and it also takes care of the gated entry. So again, that's $315 per month. Um, and so back to kind of where the difference is between 2008 and now. Um, in 2008, our, the home equity percentage was much lower um, when you, on a case-by-case -case basis. Now, a lot of people have a lot more equity in their homes. And also, we're seeing that lenders are actually being extremely careful with who they're lending to. As you guys might have heard, some lending outfits are now no longer doing anything less than 20% down. Um, some lending outfits aren't doing jumbo loans uh, currently. Um, and that's showing that there's actually a little bit of restraint in the lending market and they're operating with a little bit more integrity than they were in 2008. Remember, in 2008, they were giving loans for over 100% of the value on properties to people with unverified income. So I just want to paint a picture for you really quick. 2007, let's, let's go back more than 10 years, back in time, 2007, back when I was in high school. You could walk in to a mortgage office. You could say, hi, my name is Joe. Um, I, I don't have any money for a down payment, uh, but I make $140,000 a year, and I have a credit score of 785, and I need a loan for $600,000 because I want to buy a house. And they would say, hey, Joe, that sounds great. Instead of giving you a loan for $500,000, we're going to give you a loan for $520,000 because the value is going to go up. And you can use the money and you have some cash on hand and you go on vacation and do all these wonderful things. Well, there's a problem there. There was no income verification. There was no credit verification. Uh, appraisals were fake. Um, things were not happening correctly. Um, we're not seeing that anymore. Uh, like I said, lenders are very, very strict on their guidelines and um, pretty much we're at a spot where Loans that are being made are ones that should be made, and loans that aren't being made should not be made. Um, the other biggest factor, and this is the last thing I'm gonna leave you with before um, I let you guys chime in with any questions. Um, the good old principle, I was a business major at Cal Poly Pomona, and um, this is my favorite theory in business, and it's the most important by far, supply, and demand without a doubt. So when people go, oh, there's gonna be a housing market crash, uh, get ready, I'm gonna save up all my pennies and I'm gonna buy houses for pennies on the dollar. Hey Jerry, what's going on? Um, I wouldn't say that's gonna happen. Um, and that's because we have a huge, huge supply problem. Uh, California is still in a housing crisis. We've been in a housing crisis for probably about a year, maybe a little bit more than that. And just because we're in a pandemic doesn't mean that we've automatically built more houses. So we still have a housing crisis. There still is demand um, and now, the demand that's there is from extremely well-qualified buyers. So even though we did lose some of our buyer pool from COVID, obviously if you don't have income right now, you're not gonna be able to get a loan. But inversely, the people that are working right now and they are interested in purchasing are gonna be very, very serious buyers. So we still have very serious buyers out there, even though there's not as much as there was before, but we still have a huge supply deficit of, of product. 
And supply and demand, whenever there's low supply and high demand, what does that equate to, class? Yes, solid prices. Exactly, you're exactly right. You guys are smart. Um, so that's my spiel for today. If you guys have any questions uh, regarding this property, um, I'm gonna hang out live for just another couple more minutes. Um, so if you have questions about this property or any other properties in Claremont, please don't hesitate to ask me. I'm more than happy to chat with you. If you have questions about how to buy or sell real estate during COVID-19 or a pandemic, I'm getting really good with that information. Um, so uh, I'm more than happy to answer those questions for you as well. In the meantime, I'm just gonna flip you guys back around and highlight shots of 456 Potomac Way. I'm gonna stay live for another five minutes or so. So if you guys have any questions, uh, you're more than welcome to punch them into the comment section. You can also message me through my Facebook or you can email me. I'm gonna be having another live open house event next weekend for one of my very own listings, which I'm very, very excited to bring to you. Um, and I'll have a little bit more information on that one once it becomes available. So I'm just gonna show you some highlight clips of 457 Potomac, or 456 Potomac Way. If you have any questions, type them into the comments. Oh, one last thing. I'm giving away Starbucks cards. You have to comment something into the comments in order to be entered into the drawing. Like I said, I'm gonna make it really good. It's not gonna be chintzy. It's not gonna be some $5 Starbucks card. And I'm gonna give away um, at least, your odds will be at least one in five. If you have anybody who was not able to make it to the live open house, I save all of the open houses that I do to my Facebook business page, Joe Pareka Real Estate. If you are not following me for some reason, uh, please go follow that page. I have tons of real estate updates. I have tips for buyers, tips for sellers, all sorts of local information regarding real estate. No, it is not just a spot where I spam all of my listings or show you all my sold properties. I try to make it a resource for buyers as well as sellers. So if you need local Claremont information or information about the San Gabriel Valley and real estate, I am your guy to go to. I also have great lenders. Like I said, if you're interested in refinancing, which I believe Jerry took some advantage of some of my lender contacts for refinancing and ended up saving a bunch of money. So if you're thinking about doing something like, the, like what Jerry did, he was very smart, uh, you're more than welcome to reach out to me for that information as well. And I'm gonna stay with you guys until 2.30. So if you have any questions at all, please chime on in. Again, this is the downstairs bedroom. Really nice to have a downstairs bedroom and full bathroom. Give you another look outside since it's such a beautiful day. It was my pleasure, Jerry. I'm glad it worked out for you, and I'm glad you found it advantageous. Beautiful today. Look at that blue sky, beautiful green trees, wonderful. I mentioned I will be back with you guys next weekend for another virtual open house via Facebook Live. Um, I'm not going to give away any details on that one yet, um, but it's going to be another good one. Again, I'm really excited for that one because that's actually one of my very own listings that I'll be bringing to you guys. Um, if you have any questions regarding 456 Potomac Way, 
please drop them in the comment section. I'm gonna be signing off very shortly here, so if there's anything that I missed, you're more than welcome to send me a message. Uh, send me an email directly. Um, you can find me on my Facebook, Joe Pereca Real Estate. I know it's a mouthful and I got a crazy last name, but just do your best to search it. Um, and I'm sure that Facebook will point you in the right direction. Um, thanks very much for joining me for another open house. Again, uh, stay safe out there and I will see you guys on the next one. Have a good Sunday.